as well as starting to get the Star Trek um, releases by Eagle Moss, I've also started to get the Doctor Who ones. And just like the Star Trek ones, and the Alien ones for that matter, the, the Doctor Who ones, terrific sculpts, terrific detail, but let down a bit by the paint job. This is my latest one. Before uh, I just show that to you, I'll show you my previous two. I've only got two Doctor Who's before now. Um, this is the obviously the Morbius monster who I have uh, repainted just there like so. All right, and one of my favorites is the Draconian who I have repainted like so. Okay, so they're the two, um, but it's about time I got a Dalek, and there are many, many Daleks I could have gone for, but the reason I've gone for this, um, the Mutant Revealed Dalek, is, you know, it's not just a Dalek, but if I'm going to do a bit of repainting, it's going to be great fun doing the, the inside of him. Um, now, inside there, usual magazine, you've got some terrific reference shots from the filming of resurrection of the Daleks so I don't need to take screen grabs or anything like that the detail is already here for me so that's what the car lid looks like in resurrection of the Daleks what you have with the miniature it's not bad it's not a bad representation um, you've got the greeny at the top you've got the spaghetti type at the bottom and then you've got the inside workings so I'm just going to, I think, maybe just put some washes to bring out the spaghetti. I'm going to redo the green bits. And I'm going to um, maybe do some metallics in there. The actual shell of the Dalek, I think I've got to, I've got to double check. I think I've got to um, pick out the mesh in gunmetal. But the rest is pretty good. It's really good detail. Um, it's like half a Dalek for my first Dalek. But... I like painting challenges and uh, I'm going to have good fun with this fella. So uh, stay tuned.